Okay, the chords that you need to know today for this lesson on intermediate slash beginner finger picking, okay? This is mainly for the beginners though, but if you, if you are intermediate, you wanna make sure that you can do this stuff too, you know? Just make sure. But for a beginner, this lesson will carry on for the rest of your guitar playing life, I promise you, okay? So the chords we wanna use is G and C. And the way you do a G is you put your ring, this is how I do it, you might have learned it like this, okay? It's fine, I'm not gonna go over that way. I do it like this, ring finger, okay? If you're married, ring finger on the G. Middle finger, okay, sorry, this is a G note when you get it on the third fret of the E string. So third fret of the E, my fault. And middle finger, on the second fret of the A, then you have the D, G, and B all open. And then you put your pinky on the three of the E, so. Okay? Now for, and make sure you have your fingers like kind of like a 90 degree angle from the fretboard, like this part. You don't want it like this because, see that? The strings mute up. You want it, okay, you want to have good finger posture, basically so everything can ring out. And same thing with the C. See, notice this? Look how it's like a square almost, okay? That's what you want, so see? It's not gonna ring out if you flatten it. You want everything up. So that's ring finger on the three of the A, and on the two of the D, you got your middle finger, and then you got the G open. Make sure you get it to ring out. And then your pointer finger on this first of the B and let the E ring out. Okay, so get that under your fingers, okay? And if you can't oh, master it, like, like do that, don't sweat it, okay? If it takes you a while to switch from chords, that's just how it is in the beginning. Don't worry about that, okay? So this is what I know. I know how to go. You, you get the point. Okay? So that's what I know how to do, so Trust me when I'm telling you on um, the things that you want to start with as a beginner, okay? Um, and I need to preface with that because you might be discouraged or you might think that I'm full of shit because you're not going to get instant results, okay? It's not going to be instant results. You have to practice this for a while, you know, and enjoy it. It's fun. Um, have this as like a little side hobby, a side a, a side quest for your guitar okay so what you so what you're already good at whatever that is you know whenever you get bored of that just and you go to do something where you can kind of just chill just have your guitar out and practice this pattern that i'm about to teach you i call it the inside the outside inside okay the outside inside and someone taught this to me so i would always do this even before i knew i wanted to finger pick just because you know, just something to do. So what you want to do, this is what it sounds like. I'm on the G, and I'm going to switch to the C. And that's it. And all that is, is you use your thumb on the E, and then you use your pointer finger. No, let's use your middle finger. You want to get in the habit of using at least three fingers because I have a bad habit and a lot of great finger pickers have this bad habit of just of just using the one finger, but you want to you want to be able to use as many fingers as possible. So we're going to do with the three, okay? And the reason why it's called inside outside is cuz look. E, no it's called outside inside my fault. E then G, then A, then D. So, see that? The outside strings and then the inside strings. So with the thumb, 
then with the middle finger, thumb, then pointer finger, okay? So it's four strings, and you hit that bordering strings, and then you hit the strings that are inside. And then with the C, you go A to B to D to G. The same thing. Play it exactly how I'm playing it. Look at my right hand. So that might seem like it could get boring, but what you can do is you can go, instead of just going like, like this, inside, outside, just here, you could go, or outside, inside, I keep saying the wrong thing. Out, outside, inside, you can go to E to, to B, right? And then just pick two inside strings. So, E, B, then A and G. So, or you could go okay, so it's just whatever you want. You could go you see that? You see all the possibilities that you can do? Okay, so find your own ways after you get this down and just mix and match it. Just under, just pick um, four strings to pick, whatever they are, and um, always hit like the lowest one first. And then you go and you find the like the lowest string or like the string that's on the bottom. It's the highest pitch. So say you want to do just pick any random strings. I'm gonna hit a G chord, and I'm gonna pick the A string, the E string, the G string, and the D string. So these strings, okay? So I'm gonna go. Okay? Outside, inside, it's very simple. And that's all you need to get started, okay? Because eventually, you'll get so comfortable that before you know it, you're gonna be going like, you'll be going like. There we go. So, um, hopefully that helps, okay? And have fun with it. And, you know, keep playing your pentatonic. And keep playing your blue. Okay, keep all that. Keep doing your RL burn side. Okay, keep doing all that but also add in, it's whatever chord you want, outside, inside. So start slow, and remember to use at least three fingers. Get used to that, okay? Don't be like me and have the bad habit with just the one, okay? Okay, we're all learning, okay? We're all students in this game. I'm just a little farther ahead, so that's why I'm here to teach you because I'm a little farther ahead and I might know a thing or two that you haven't gone to yet. So I'm helping you speed up um, the process, you know, because um, the way we get better as guitar players is really just by picking up little things as we go along here and there. That's really what it is. Like, it's not just like information, information, learn, 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 better, 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 better. It's not like that. It's, it's, a, it's a calm wave. And if you dedicate yourself, it'll lead you up. You know, it takes time though, okay? So enjoy that, have fun with it, and yeah.
This is my Sigma. I got it at a yard sale. People like to know about the guitar sometime. Yep, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Easy, right? <laughs> All right, see you guys later.